60 meters indoor record holder. And from Spain, this is Maria Isabel Perez, little pocket rocket. Second to Asher Smith in the third semi-final. Zainab Dosso, she'll go in lane two, three-time Italian champion. Perez, incidentally, goes in lane eight. This is Imani Lansiquot of Great Britain, the Olympic bronze medal winner in the relay, 4x1 relay from the Tokyo Olympics. Eva Svoboda, that season's best of 11.05, is a personal best. So well known as being a terrific indoor runner, a European indoor champion from 2019. Powerfully built. We saw the way she got mm. away in her semi-final before being overtaken by Nata. Gina Lukin-Kemper, silver medalist in the 100 meters at the last European Championships in Berlin back in 2018. She will go in lane six with real, real hopes of giving Germany another medal this evening. They've won gold in the decathlon with Nicholas Call. Daryl Nita. An Olympic finalist in Tokyo, and she was only just one place off making the final of the World Championships in, in Eugene. And that 10.95 in the semi-final marks her down as a serious gold medal prospect, as is Majinga Kambunji. Her personal best run this season. She reached the final of the Olympic Games last year, alongside Aya Del Ponte, another Swiss athlete who's not competing here. Kambunji is the reigning world indoor 60-meter champion and Dina Asher-Smith, the defending champion. And that's why she has been given the final introduction. Gold medal in the 200 meters in 2019 in Doha at the World Championships. Bronze in Eugene at 200 meters just a few weeks ago. But an injury that mm. she picked up, a hamstring injury that she picked up. Is like, has Nita got enough? Has Asher-Smith recovered sufficiently? Was that question answered in the semi-final? This is going to be close, Greg. So, in the semi-final, 11.15 for Asher Smith, 10.95 for Nita, and Kambunji was in the middle. And they are the three that we're watching. With Luke and Kemper, a very, very possible medalist. But the top three are definitely the two British athletes, Asher Smith in lane three. Kambunji in four, and Nita in five. This women's 100 meters final, and there are the medals right beside the track. Beautifully staged, brilliantly staged championship so far. This is the final event of night two, the women's 100 meters final. And away first time, Kambunji off well, so too was Dana Asher Smith. Kambunji does look like she has it. Asher Smith is pulled up, and it's going to be Kambunji's gold medal. And Nita and Luke and Kemper are doing it. Oh, it's so close! Did Kambunji do enough? Did Luke and Kemper? Did Luke and Kemper get enough at the line? She almost dived across the line. Didn't it's a blanket finish, and this is going to be so hard to call. It looked like Kambunji had it sewn up with 20 meters to go. Back came Nook and Kemper. Back came Nita. Dean Asher oh. Smith hasn't got her. And Gina Nook and Kemper did it with the dive. <laughs> oh, the stumble or the dive. It was a sensational conclusion. And the Germans have risen again for a gold medal. Nicholas Call took it into the Kaplan. And Gina Nook and Kemper has upstaged the three stars. Brought gold to Germany, uplifted by the crowd. A performance of her life. The silver medalist from Berlin in 2018 is the gold medalist in Munich on German soil again. 10.99, 10.99 for Jambunji. And that is absolute agony. And one one hundredth of a second behind is Nita. Dean Asher Smith pulling up with the hamstring injury that has recurred by the looks of things. That was a distraction in mid-race, but what a finish. What a finish to the night and night two. And listen to the crowd. 
They are absolutely loving one of their own, but also an outsider getting in among the stars and taking the gold in a dramatic fashion. And look what it means to her. I'm speechless. Khan, you it's say just, something. It's, to, to be in this stadium, in this atmosphere, is just something very, very special. And again, I think, a, a German athlete lifted by this atmosphere to a gold medal. I mean, that's an unbelievable performance from Luke Kemper. It looked for all the world as if Kambunji was going to take the gold. Ten metres out. And I still don't know how she didn't because it looked like the line was just pulling her. Or was it white line fever? It was a case of like the 49, 50,000 people pulling her towards that finish line. It was an incredible. I want to see the replay. I want to see was this a stumble because that looks like it was part stumble, part dive. Did she stumble yeah, while she Yeah, I think died? her legs clipped one another. She uh, knee knocked once. But this is, now we're going to see the replay. So. As the race unfolds here, Kambunji gets the start. The 60-meter world champion that she is, is shown in that first 60 meters. And now comes Luke and Kemper, and Kambunji does get a bit of white line fever. No, she stumbled after the line. This is just all pure effort, emotion, spirit, all the way to the line. That is sensational timing. The perfect dive. Oh, Luke and Kemper is a champion, and she didn't do it with a dive. She did it with the absolutely perfectly timed dip one one hundredth of a second oh that is just amazing athletics is such a beautiful wonderful sport when you see something like that and the joy look at the joy and a fit and crescendo to what has been on the opening night on the second night an absolute spectacle of track and field athletics what a night indeed Germany taking two goals. You have to feel for Camp Bungie. So close. Look at the time. You know. And nothing in it. And the gold medal was there for yeah. her. Yeah. Absolutely there for her. But you absolutely also cannot rule out what this crowd may have meant to Gina Lukenkamper, knowing that this was a chance for kind of an immortality in the sport to win a gold medal for your country in front of your home crowd. Doesn't get much better than that. It's going to be hard to surpass this night <laughs> for the rest well, of the week. It's it, been so good. It sets the tone, you know what I mean? Tomorrow evening it's going to have to do the same or live up to the same. But Well, we've had our own moment tonight with Israel Olatunde. It's sixth in the men's 100 metres. And this is Germany's night. Gina Lukenkemper rounding it off with her second goal of the night, 10.99 from Kambunji, 10.99. Darren Nate had taken the bronze in 11.00. And from Munich, from Con Murphy, David Matthews, and myself, Greg Allen, with the face of the happy Gina Lukenkemper. Good night. <laughs>